Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. And today, I'm gonna to teach you how to fan windows. First thing you're gonna need when learning how to fan windows is a small squeegee. This is just a little Ettore brass squeegee with the quick release channel. This is an eight inch channel. The reason we're gonna start small and learning how to fan is we're just trying to get the motion down. First thing you need to do is get a bucket, fill it with some soapy solution, uh, you can use water and Dawn dish soap. That's the best way to do it. Also, having a microfiber sleeve with a T-bar is helpful for scrubbing down the window as well. So first, you just wanna make sure you do a good scrub on the glass, getting into all the corners. A few times over the window is really all you need. Okay. So when you're learning how to fan, right? If you are right-handed, you're gonna be cutting in on your left. If you are left-handed, you're gonna be cutting in on your right. When you're cutting in, you're just gonna cut into the window, right along the corner, move your squeegee across. Once it gets uncomfortable, you're gonna bring your squeegee back up, and you're just gonna take down the mountain. So it's this motion. This is why they call it the S motion and then closing out just like that. A good way to just get this motion down is by putting some soap on the glass and just doing the motion in the middle of the window. So you see, my fingers are very light. I'm not pressing hard. I'm not gripping the squeegee like this, I'm going like this. It doesn't take much pressure. So it's just this nice S motion down the glass, right? Now I know I've missed a ton there, but it's just for demonstration. But starting small and then getting bigger is gonna be the best way to learn it. If you start out by learning with an 18 inch squeegee, this is my favorite combo right here, my ultimate squeegee combo. It's just gonna to be too much, right? So if you're starting out and you don't know what you're doing, a squeegee this size is covering that much of the glass. So it's just too much. So after you learn how to use, let's say an eight inch channel, maybe move up to a 12 inch channel, okay? Same idea, cutting in on your left if you're right-handed, coming down. Now you see there, I messed up in the middle of the class. That's the really nice thing about fanning is that if you mess up, you can easily come back and get it because with fanning, your squeegee is never leaving the glass. So you cut in and you complete the whole window without ever leaving the window. So with that motion on the 12 inch, let's just do that one more time. 12 inch is big enough for two straight pulls on the glass, right? So what that means is when you get up to this size, you can do the S motion fanning, or you can just do what I like to call the up down technique, okay? So you cut in the same way, you go across, you come all the way down. You do the S motion here, and then you close out here. That's gonna be a very quick way to clean the window instead of having to fan and do the S motion all the way down. As you move up to larger sizes, like a 14 inch squeegee like this, you'll find that you'll even clean the window quicker. So with this usually, you can do about three moves and be done with the window. Cut in over here. Boom, done. So just about three movements across the glass to be finished. Now, the other nice thing about a 14, and if you really needed to on residential, you could also straight pull that window, but we're not gonna go over that because this is just going over fanning. Now, 14 inch is gonna be pretty much perfect for a window like this, but let's say you're getting used to an 18, right? 18 is gonna be really quick on a window like this. Okay, all you gotta do is cut in, come down, and go across. So almost two movements. So you see how quickly basically going from a smaller channel to a larger channel can make you clean windows quicker. So learning how to fan one is gonna make you a lot quicker. If we were doing straight pulls, no matter who you are, it slows you down. So if I'm able to clean the window as quick as I was with the 18 inch right with fanning, but straight pulls, 
I got to do this. I got to dry off at least here. I got to realign in the corner and pull down again. Straight pulls just take too long. That's why you want to get good at fanning. So that's just some simple techniques about how to get good at fanning by starting at a smaller squeegee and going to a larger squeegee. So I suggest starting at around like an eight to 10 inch squeegee, working your way up to 18. 18 is a very good size squeegee for anything. Apart from that, if you really wanna take it further and do 22, 30s, 36s, you totally could. That's more for commercial, not for residential, but mostly we're just talking about the overall fanning technique. That is how to learn how to fan. I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.